Hello my beautiful people, it is Sherry Moulton, back with another video. Hope you're having an amazing day. Hope you enjoyed my little tour of my dad's paintings and stuff that I had gifted them. Um, also, that dollar store, do you understand why? I? It's amazing. And I didn't even go through all the aisles, even on my own. I spent over two hours in that store. So that's crazy. So anyways, with that, I know I just went shopping, but <clears throat> um, I had showed you guys um, the amazing people that I worked with at Rudo Heights Community Center. Hey! I went to Michael's and used my coupon, my gift card that they gave me. So being that I'm going to start painting again, I purchased some actual good brushes. So these ones are the Royal and Lang Nichols. Um... Actually, they're all Royal and Lang nickels. Perfect. I purchased a large filbert. This one is a 40. So that'd be nice. That'd make some big flowers. I purchased a medium size filbert. This one is a 25 mil, millimeters. I purchased a round brush. Everything is so small. I can't. And it's a little bit thicker, so that's nice because you can make those flowers with this brush as well. And this one will do amazing tricks for you guys. It's the thing, you have to learn how to use your brushes. I'm just going to show you on my phone. That is what they call a rake brush. It is amazing. You can do some pretty neat things. That's how you got the fur on my little. Um, raccoon that I showed you all kinds of neat things oh, here it's right here that's how you get the fur on the raccoon all that little details it's not one stroke constantly you use the rake brush so that's cool also um I purchased these beads I thought they'd be cute I really, really, really love how the um, the four flowers, how I did the beads in the centers, because I think that turned out really amazing. It gave that three-dimensionalness to it. So I went to well, Michael's. They had these. Um, they are eight millimeter beads. And they're the same idea, but they're a little bit bigger. And they have an AB on them, so they're a little bit sparklier. And they're cut as well and then I was down the aisle where they have all of the stencils everything was literally so reduced it is crazy so I picked these up these ones are normally um, I don't even see a price on Martha but these ones are normally I think they were 15 or 20 dollars they were five all of them were five dollars this one i thought was amazing it's kind of cute it was 15 they had it for five this guy was also i think it was 15 it was five Whew. i'm losing my light here let me just there my light was about to fall on me, sorry. And also they had these huge ones. I do have one that's um, a similar pattern to this. They were $30, I think they were $28, on for nine. So I bought these two big ones because I thought, you know, different flower, different glitter, you could do texture on those. So anyways, Again, I can open up my own little store. I've got so many freaking things. But anyways, I don't smoke, I don't drink, I don't do anything. So this is this is my, I, I go to work to su support my hobby. So with that, I purchased um, stencil brushes. These are just Michael's cheapy brand. Actually, they were the only stencil brushes they had in there when I went in. And getting to today's video, I purchased um, some more alcohol ink. The kits that I bought 
came from Michael's. They were the pinatas, and they came in two separate kits. So I bought both. But now they don't they don't sell the pinata anymore. This one is Ranger. And I don't have pearls. So I really love that blue. I really love that Senorita Margarita or Magenta Senorita or something like that. I love those colors, but these ones are pearls. So I bought these three colors. It is, um, whew, I gotta open it up to read it because it doesn't tell you what they are. I can hardly read. Guy, I'm so bad, my eyes. So this one is Subline. Intrigue? I don't know. Intrigue? This one is Subline. Sublime. Like the lime color. And then this one is Tranquil. And it's like a blue. So today we're going to do some more of those flowers. You guys are probably getting sick of those flowers because they're everywhere. But I want to try. I want to play. I'm going to do maybe two colored flowers and maybe some leaves. We'll see. And I washed all of them. I was wondering if maybe if the backs do not turn out, I'm going to apply oh, some of this multicolored, um, it's called rainbow, rainbow flakes from Recollections. And I was playing around just to see if it would go inside and stay. This is just another mold. So I just rubbed it on the bottom. So if it doesn't turn out, I'm going to probably put some of that on it and coat it with black or something or a color anyways. So we're going to get into it. I am going to stop talking if that's possible. I'm going to put on my PPE, my respirator. I have my gloves ready to go. I'm going to mix up my resin and my resin of choice as always is crystal resin. I am going to mix that up and when we're ready, I'll be right back. I'll see you in a second guys. Hello, I'm all mixed up, which is par for Sherry. I am choosing not to wear this so that I can um, show you amazing people what I'm doing. So we are going to go and do, I was debating whether to do three colors and then try and do three little separate flowers in each one. So what I'm thinking, I'm going to do two. I'm going to try that and then I'm going to try layering the colors like I did in the other video. I am using my, I'm gonna put my resin in here first. I've mixed up 12 ounces because I also have my holder. So if I have enough, I'm going to um, put some in it, which I should have more than enough. I've cleaned all of these molds. I came down and most of the time you don't really need to clean them. You might need to use the tape to get, you know, some glitter that has fallen in it or something. But most of the times if, you know, your stuff comes up clean. But I had that amazing chameleon mica flakes from Laura's Art Corner on my last blooms I did. Um, they were everywhere. So I had to take it up into the sink. So just basically, um, some warm water, some dish soap, and I did a lot of uh, manipulating with my fingers to get it off, but it does come off. But again, like I said, most of the time, everything, um, will pop out. A little easier oh my goodness this is so slippery I'm just gonna get that up. I might do a half of one in each more does that make any sense because I still have six ounces left in here I do need oh I do need to oh my goodness 
The container's huge. Here, let me put that in there because I'm going to put resin in it anyways. The container's huge. I've got all my other ones upstairs to wash and I haven't done that yet. Okay. You do not need to worry about having a whole lot on the bottom as long as the bottom is covered. A thin layer is good and then you have an option of either putting a clear coat or a backing coat of resin excuse me with pigment and um, glitter because I love always that's how I did them but the last two I did oh my goodness they were so pretty that I couldn't I'm gonna pour it all in here and it's four ounces I hate mixing pigments in this big container it's hard to um, clean. <laughs> I'm just going to wipe my hands off so I can get a stick. And I have my Lorez white, angel white um, pigment paste. And that's what we're going to use. I might actually pour a little bit out of here so there's there's lot, there'll be lots for me to do my flowers with, but, oh, and then I, all right, so this is my Larez Angel White, it is a mess because, you know, Sherry's a messy Marvin and stuff all over it, give it a stir and scrape off, you just want little bits in there. There's basically, let me see, I think there's three ounces in here, I think, and I'm just slowly mixing it up. I'm in no rush because I did, again, I don't time everything. I know um, a lot of people time it, a lot of people check temperatures, but I, me, I don't do that. I just, I'm, I fly on the seat of my pants, guys. And I like the idea that, oh, it might be different this time than last time. Um, so my resin, I did warm it up in my kitchen sink, which in turn, this resin, crystal resin, has roughly 30, 30 minutes or so of a playing time. But because I warm it up in my kitchen sink, cuts it down considerably. So, um, ah, wonderful. Isn't that nice? See, Sherry is just, <laughs> uh, I am accident prone, no matter what'll happen. And it's kind of, I've always done it. I've mentioned this before. I've always done it with um, Casting Craft Opaque Pigment White, um, and I counted drops. So I always did 10 drops for two ounces of resin. Now this, I there's no control over this one. It's just a matter of, you know, you scrape it off. So I there's, you really don't know. So it's kind of, and if there's too much of it, it will sink. Like that's, a little more than if there's not, if that makes any sense. So I'm pouring it now from my container into a plastic bag. I was gonna say plastic shopping bag, but that's not a shopping bag. And I'm gonna wipe off this. There we go. So I'm gonna get rid of the bubbles that are in here. I'm gonna set this down here. My hands are all messy. I'm trying to find my kitchen little torch, just a little one. I got the big one here, which I don't really like using. It is so big. There, it's on really low. Now that ain't gonna work. 
let me. But it's crazy. I've moved everything again, right, guys? I'm just going to use some alcohol, 99% alcohol, to burst these bubbles. It's not what I wanted to do. Because now I can't use the... <laughs> oh, my goodness. See? I find it after the fact. Now, I will not be using this now because of the fact that... Um, It'll catch it on fire. I have a couple little. Now these aren't, someone thought that I was picking out cured pieces of resin. That's not what I'm picking out. Because I live in my basement, I have a lot of dust particles, a lot of things that come out of when my furnace kicks in. Like there's a big, what is with that? Ah, there we go. So that's what I'm picking out. I'm not picking out cured resin because, um, yeah, just little floaties of sometimes cat hat, cat fur. All right, now I'm going to try to do, oh, I so want to do this because there's so bubbles in there. All right. I'm going to spray one more time. Just to get rid of all those bubbles. Perfect. And that's a good thing when you warm up your resin as well. It deters the bubbles, right? Now with the pearls, there's the little balls in them. So they should be shaken. Not stirred. Shaken. <laughs> but the blue one doesn't have one which is funny. So I did shake them all off camera. And here we go. Uh, wish me luck. Wish me luck. I'm going to do one. Two of them I'm going to do just one dot of each. Because I'm going to try and do three separate flowers. And we'll see how it works. And then this one, we're going to do a bunch of colors and we'll do it all together. So we're going to do pink, blue, green, or green, blue, pink. Let's do it backwards. Okay. And I've never used these, I've never used the Ranger Ricks before. I seriously need to invest in a um, large battery. All right, here we go. We're going to put some of these. That is weird. This one doesn't want to squirt out like the other one did. Okay, here we go. Let's try this one. Oh my goodness, the pearl and the essence is crazy on this. Oh, the ball's down there. That's why. Okay, now I'm going to move this to the center because it looks like this guy, for some reason, is going this way. 
Let's try and move it back to the center. There we go. And I might do one more little dab of color in here. <gasps> Shoot. It looks like I lost the blue. Is when you want to rush nothing goes right and I don't want that there so I'm gonna pick that up out of there gonna get my um, fancy dancy tools which again I have moved everything and I so apologize guys I'm just using a stick. I can't find my. Oh my goodness. We're just going to use this. We're going to swirl. I don't know why the color keeps shifting. So I'm going to try to bring it. Try not to hit the bottom. Here we go. All right. Now I have it in a bag. We're going to do it the baggy way today. I'm, it's just in a corner and it's getting warm, so I'm going to move my butt. I'm squeezing it so that there's a little bit can you see how it's empty here and I want the smallest hole because you don't want it to come out huge okay this guy we're gonna and it's coming out huge oh my goodness We're going to see. Again, my hole is big. And I'm just going to do what I did with the tray. I'm just going to go around and around. They might not turn out, but That's why we experiment. Now this guy, I'm afraid because I really want this to turn out. All right, here we go. I'm just gonna go in a circle. And then come through and do um, some lines on it. That's better. That's more what I wanted. All right. So I'm going to leave that there for a second. Wait, my hands. I'm so upset I can't find my little, all of my little, um, spatula tools. All right, so we are going to use the skewer and be very careful. All right, let's go down, down, down. I was saying I'm not really into this type of a flower because I don't like the it's too uniformed for for me because I'm an odd duck right 
and then we're going to come in and try to go outward. And I'm wiping off as I'm doing. And a big old swirl in the middle. And you can do you know, section it off and then come in, do smaller petals, come in and do a smaller petal. And I'm scraping it off on the edge. I might come back and redo this one because it kind of did a little bit of a flip there. See, I'm taking it right to the edge of the... So it goes right to the edge. And then we're going to do a swirl. Woo! And these guys, I'm just mm, going to leave them. I tried to do the individual flowers, but I'm 100% sure it is not going to work out that way. So we're going to leave them. That, oh, I'm excited to see these. That's closed right up. Hopefully that'll close up too. So I'm going to bring up my little stand. We're going to shimmy our guys a little bit. And I'm just going to squirt in. Oh, it helps if you have it the right way. All right. I'm just going to squirt in the white. We'll do it at the feet. And then that way it's, I can do a different color. Let me see if I can maneuver these so that it's inside. There. Oh, Sherry, Sherry. Perfect. Now I do have some clear left and I'm thinking that let's put it in this container where I had, I hate mix, like I said, I hate mixing colors in this big container because it's so hard to clean. I'm hoping you can see what I'm doing. I'm just Scraping out all of that clear that was left. I'm putting it in this little container before it cures on me. And I'm thinking I might just do a drop of all three of the alcohols in there. Actually, we'll do it in here. It might not turn out, but give it a stir. There's a little bit of white in there still. So it'll come out cloudy, right? So it's not a hundred percent. And then we're going to put that in here. I just thought it would be neat to have the white legs. Oh, and this is enough to fill it. I 
Don't want to go too full though. There you go. Now, just so they match, I'm going to attempt to put just a couple drops of the ink in there and see if it does anything. And then I could swirl it, and that way they match. Oh. Blue. There. I'm going to take my skewer and just kind of run it through. Yeah, it's per, oh my gosh, that actually is pretty. <laughs> All right, so we are going to let these cure. When I come home from work, I hope that they are pretty. And if not, I will be putting maybe some of this with kind of a clear coat. We'll see. We'll see how they turn out on the back. I'm going to give it another spritz with my 99%. Just because I see a few little bubbles. And in this guy. Actually, I really love how that turned out. And oh my goodness. I may have to re-swirl that. Let's see. I wasn't thinking. Because you get the cells when you do the alcohol ink with the... <laughs> We're gonna leave it back away it's always hard to know when to stop why does that keep shifting and it's just that one that's kind of weird I don't want it to maybe if I move the table this way all right I'll see you guys when this is done, I hope these two turn out. They probably won't, but you never know. They're the ones that usually turn out, the one you don't think. All right, I'm gonna cover it with my little tent. And let me find my little tent. Oh, look at that, the flowers match. That is crazy. That was not planned. Thank you, Sandra. And there we go. I'll see you guys when I get home from work. Bye. Hello, I am back from work. I have my comfy outfit on. I have mixed up some resin. That's going to be pretty. So I don't need to put any more in that because that is good. What I'm going to do is because this side doesn't look as pretty. Um, not sure what it's going to look like on the other side. But I'm going to add some of this um, kiwi green. This is mica powder from Crystal Resin. And I'm going to add some of this Fruity Pebble, blah, blah, Fruity Pebble Glitter from Laura's Art Corner. And that will be the back, which I think will match pretty good with the green, the pink, and the blue. So I'm going to move this over here for right now. We're going to mix up my I still have to find my silly I don't know where I put it I 
All right, here we go. I don't think I've used this one yet. I want it to be fully, not transparent. We're going to mix that up nice and slow so it doesn't fly everywhere. Ah, oh, there we go. That is pretty. Look at that. That's gorgeous, actually. And I may... I know I'm going to have too much because I've mixed up six ounces of the resin and we are going to dump some of this in. I hope it on my little spoon out here. I hope it doesn't uh, we're going to do one two two scoops of fruity pebble glitter. I'm going to show it to you. There we go. I just thought it would match quite nice with this, almost like a Mardi Gras. Oh yes. Oh yes. Give it a good stir. And the other reason I like doing it this way is because the glitter will sink. So you'll see the glitter on the other side. So we're just gonna, oops, I guess I can put the other one here. And where did I put? I'm just going to use one of these little cups. Here we go. Look at that. That's going to be pretty. Awesome. And then we're just going to move it around, get it into all those little crevices. There we go. I find this is easier for me, but everyone to each their own. Oh, that one, yeah, a little bit down here. Perfect, like, look at that, that's gonna be pretty. Let me, this one seems to be a little fuller than the others on the first layer. Whoops. So I just want to make sure that I got it on the edges. Perfect. Awesome. Now let me get my little torch, which I found. Break out all oh, those bubbles. Oh, 
And you're going to move around. Don't keep it in one spot. And that's when you run into problems. Okay, so I'm going to remove this because I don't need that there. And I figured I would pull out. These are my hair clips. I haven't done these in a while. And we will use that leftovers to make these hair clips. Let's, let's see. Maybe we can go this way. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Give it a stir. And let's have some fun here. you want to make sure you don't overfill you don't have to play with it later Pretty actually, I kind of like this kind of combination. There we go, and I think I have enough to fill one more. Let's see. We'll do this one. Quite a few. I'm almost done. There we go. Perfect. So there we go. So that wasn't too bad. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. Coast and two coasters, four coasters. All right, we're gonna give everything a little spritz with my ninety-nine percent alcohol. We're gonna let it do its thing. I'm gonna go to bed because I gotta get up for work in the morning. And I will see you guys in the morning to unveil these beauties. See you later, guys. Hello, it's the morning. Oh my goodness, I'm excited. Here we go. That does look so cool. I'm going to pop these all out and then we'll take a peek.
I love that. I got little brats. I'm not going to put them together, but um, there is a video on how to make the brats, so I will link that video in there. Let me slide these down here so we can unveil the this as well. There we go. Oh, the, the stand turned out cute. Look at that. It's white on the bottom. That's cool. All right. So these, they're still just a, a little bit tacky, so I'm going to try not to. Here we go. Here we go. And, oh, that's kind of cool. That is cool. And this is the other one that's the same. Ready? Here we go. Two and three. That's cool. See how I, I love the glitter on that? It's kind of a neat idea. Now, the next time I do those three kind of flowers, I really would like to um, do it with the um, the stick. All right, here we go. Oh, that's actually, sorry, we need to look at that. That's actually kind of cool. There you go. I can't keep it down the other way because they're still just a little bit sticky. I don't want it to stick. There we go, one, two, three. But I have to get the video out for you guys. Oh, that one's actually quite pretty. Ooh. Well, there you go, my friends. I hope you enjoyed, I'll leave that up there. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you um, have not yet subscribed, please, please do subscribe. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and hit that bell up there for notifications. And in my description box, I will have everything I used here today in the um, link in the underneath. And in my also in my description box, I have the links to where to purchase um, crystal resin, which we used here today. I have the links to where to purchase um, triart liquid glass. I have the links to um, Fundy Molds with a discount code. I also have the links with a discount code to Let's Resin. And the link is, or my discount code, sorry, is Sherry M10, capital S, capital M. And I also have the um, links to my two amazing Lares distributors. My Canadian is Michelle from Artworks Resin Canada. My discount code for Michelle is Sherry Moulton 10, capital S, capital M, and the amazing Laura from Laura's Art Corner, where I use these glitters from today, my glitter guru, and my American Lares distributor. My discount code for Laura is all capital letters, Sherry Moulton 10. And also my Amazon link is in there. I'm an affiliate with them. And my PayPal is in there if you choose to donate, help support the channel. So with that, my friends, I hope you enjoyed today's video. And I will see you on Sunday. Love you guys. Bye.